Thank you. ODM. 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 Thank you. you. May be seated. <laughs> Members of the National Executive Committee of our party ODM. I'm Jambo. I'm Jambo Tena. It's been some times uh, since we had our last meeting. I was just reminded that we had the last NEC meeting in December last year. And we were supposed to have a meeting in March this year. Unfortunately, it's about your mambo ya corona. That's why I'm very happy to see so many familiar faces here uh, this morning. You all are aware that um, sometimes about three months ago I was indisposed and I had to travel out of the country for treatment. But it was a, a minor procedure. Esther here has gone through it also. <laughs> Quite a number of familiar candidates. Um, in spite of the advanced propaganda, I'm quite okay. So I'm happy to be with you again today. But once again, to me, it is a very critical time in our country. We are in the middle of a major economic meltdown put about by the COVID-19 pandemic. Business, businesses have collapsed, people have lost jobs, schools have been closed, they have lost friends and loved ones to the pandemic, and the future remains uncertain here and across the world. In times like these, we as a party must take time to listen to the aspirations, hopes, wishes, and fears of our people and turn this into action points that ease the burden on our citizens. I trust that the delegates gathered here today will ably capture the concerns from across the nation and equally come up with recommendations on how we can make interventions. As a party, we have worked closely with the government in ensuring that measures aimed at containing the spread of the virus are as humane as possible and do not cause more panic to the people. We agreed that a complete shutdown of the country was going to add more pain and needed to be avoided as much as possible. We will continue with that cooperation even as we move to ease some of the containment measures that have been in place since March this year. We will work with the government to ensure a safe reopening of the economy including our learning institutions, businesses, and places of worship. As a party, we believe the lives of our people are more precious than our political careers. We will not play games or seek popularity over life and death matters. In the middle of the uncertainties, we as a country are also keen to complete the reform agenda that we embarked on from March 2018 through the Handshake and Building Bridges Initiative. The BPI report is around the corner. The forces that have always opposed change, the, force, the voices of impunity that thrive on corruption and outright lies have already lined up against the report. 
that they have not read it. In the ODM, we take pride that right from birth about 15 years ago, we have always cleared new pathways and opened new roads so that Kenya and Kenyans can move forward. That is a mission we shall never shy from or abandon. We must therefore get ready to take up the battle to the anti-reform elements that are lining up to stop the nation from moving forward. These anti-reform forces are not new. They are the same ones that opposed a return to multi-party democracy. The same ones who opposed the push for constitutional reforms in the 1990s. The same ones who opposed the new constitution in 2010. The same ones who opposed the unity of purpose between President Uhuru Kenyatta and myself. And the same ones who are opposing the war on corruption and now. But because they have no conscience, no ideals and no principles that they are ready and willing to live and even die for, they have always benefited from the fruits of what they opposed and they see no contradiction. The good news is we have defeated these forces before. I promise you we will defeat them again. To be victorious, we will need synergy and unity of purpose among all our party organs and branches and greater coordination with our members and supporters across the country. We must strengthen our party at the grassroots and recruit more into our ranks. We must activate and strengthen the youth and women leagues of the party for the contest ahead. We must stay focused and refuse to be distracted by those who fear envisage reforms. Those dark forces are already working hard to cause fear and disharmony among our citizens. They are corrupting our people with stolen money and they are beating the drums of war, all in a bid to scuttle change. We must stop them from dragging the country into anarchy. We must forge new alliances and strengthen existing ones with the aim of getting the country to move forward. Our existing alliance with the reform wing of Jubilee, led by the President, has seen the country move forward in critical areas like fighting corruption and initiating key development projects evenly to more parts of the country. Previously, the dark forces against reform also ensured certain regions were starved of development. We need to re-engage with the veterans of the reform movement in the country and let them know that our country needs their services, sacrifices, and experiences again. We must also re-engage the community-based organizations and elements of civil society, those that have not auctioned uh, or have not been auctioned, and work with them in the People's Power Project that is about to hit the road. Above all, we must take the message to our people that the changes we pursue are in the best interests of the nation and will create opportunities for everyone. Although the final report of the BBI is not out, we had a preview in the draft launched in November 2019 uh, and in the nine-point agenda we unveiled in March 2018. We are talking about how to grow the national cake so that we can have prosperity to share, how to make our elections peaceful and democratic, how to strengthen devolution, how to ensure safety and security for all our citizens. We are talking about how to end corruption, which has crippled this country, but continues to be
the lifeblood of those opposing change today as they have done in the past. We must take the battle to our opponents and challenge them to state what they stand for, what they want for the country, how they intend to achieve it. We must challenge our opponents to tell the nation where they oppose efforts to ensure shared prosperity, end corruption, end divisive elections, and strengthen the evolution. What is the alternative to these proposed reforms? The other day, I talked about expanding the national cake. This now not in doubt is that since independence and coming forward, the national kick has not been expanded, except for the period when between 2000 and, and um, uh, two and 2013. The national cake has not expanded to keep pace with the rate of growth of our population. Our population is growing rapidly from uh, 8 million at independence to now 47 million people. Yet the national cake is not expanding. So people are scrambling over peanuts. Recently we witnessed the struggle in the Senate to share resources among our counties. But the members of the Senate was scrambling for 316 billion shillings only. It's a drop of water in the ocean. Taken against a budget of three trillion, that is just about 10%. But even three trillion should not be the size of the economy of this country. I've been given examples that at the time of our independence, our economy was the size of that of South Korea. In terms of per capita income, in terms of uh, literacy levels, in terms of uh, uh, um, uh, industrialization, agricultural production, and so on. Kenya and Korea were equal in terms of major economic indicators. 56 years down the road, Korea's economy is 50 times bigger than that of Kenya. Their population is getting smaller than ours. So they have much more to share. And that's if unless we change direction, which is what is envisioned in the BBI, we will not be able to catch up. That gap will continue to grow and will continue to be mired in poverty. These dark forces, which have kept us behind, are the ones which want to continue to keep this country hostage. We must not allow this to happen to our people. We have a responsibility as a people, as a party, to liberate this country. As a party, we must not shy or be distracted in our efforts to build a truly prosperous nation with a vibrant and inclusive economy that eradicates poverty, inequality, and creates jobs for our youth. To achieve virtually all these objectives, we must be unrelenting and unapologetic in our support for war on corruption. Corruption, <laughs> corruption is the single most important cause of the poverty afflicting our people and their development afflicting our nation. And the corrupt have, done, have no shame. Once they have looted from the public coffers, they move around and flaunt that wealth in terms of trying to support the youth groups, the women groups. They will be giving wheelbarrows. <laughs> they will be giving cocoa tennis. They will be giving water tanks. They will be giving um, 
tuk-tuks, and so on and so forth. When they give it, we are not discouraging our youth from taking. Take it. It is actually a product of corruption. But take whatever they are bringing. We have not said this, you don't take it. But we are saying this is like a peanuts throwing, um, um, like throwing maize to a chicken so that it can come closer to be arrested so that it can be slaughtered. But what we are saying is that our people want to do better. When someone is, this is an old English saying, that if I'm hungry and I come to you and you give me fish, I will eat and I will be satisfied. But tomorrow I will be hungry again. But if you teach me how to fish and give me a fishing net, then I will, you have given me permanent food. Our people don't want the fish that has been cooked. Our people want to be fishermen and fisherwomen. So, in the months ahead, we are going into a confrontation with the beneficiaries of proceeds of corruption who are arraigned against our agenda for a radical socio-economic transformation, job creation, and equitable distribution of prosperity. We must win that war, and I'm confident that with your non-commitment and support, we shall win the war. ODM. 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 ODM Tibim. ODM Tibim. ODM Ria. ODM Ria. ODM Tielala. ODM Tielala. Uh, thank you very much.